Welcome to the Secure Network Analytics version 741 demo series. Today we're going to be talking about firewall logs under multi-telemetry. This series is presented by the Secure Network Analytics Technical Marketing Engineering Team, and my name is Robert Harris. In the overview demo, Hanna talked to us about the different forms of telemetry that we can ingest inside of Secure Network Analytics. This particular video, we're going to focus heavily here on this portion here, the Cisco firewall log data that would be coming in from your Cisco FTD or ASA firewalls. And we're going to do a deeper dive on that right now. Our firewall logs are ingested by a feature we refer to as Security Analytics and Logging, or SAL for short. And the way I got to this uh, screen here is from the main menu, I went up to Dashboards, and then clicked on Security Analytics and Logging On-Prem. So SAL On-Prem is the name for our implementation of this in Secure Network Analytics. And from here, you can see up top here, we've got a graph of our firewall events. The left axis here is for our intrusion events, and it's kind of a light brown color here. And you notice this light brown line here will show us our intrusion events over time. And you can hover over any of these points, and it will show you the number of events in a one-minute period. On the right here, you can see in blue, we have our connection event, events, and you can see here the blue line, uh, we've got those plotted out over time, and you can hover over this blue line at any point in time, and it will show you for any given minute the number of connection events. We also see here with these little red triangles our malware events, so you can see that those are kind of sprinkled in here over time. We can come down here, we can adjust our time range. We default here to the last hour, but let's say we wanted to drill into the last 30 minutes, we could certainly do that. Uh, or we could even go further into, say, something like the last 24 hours or last several days if we really wanted to do that. So you can see we can go through and plot these uh, events out over a period of time. If we want to go back to just the default view, we can come up here and just click on Clear Changes, and that'll take us back to this default last hour view. Um, down here, we've got the different firewall events that are represented by this particular time range that we have selected of up here. So we can either use some of these default time ranges, or we could also come down here and select a custom time range and define our own start date or end date. That might be helpful to say we're doing some type of uh, incident response investigation. But if we come down here, we can uh, click on the arrow to the left of the individual event, and we can see all of the fields that are available to us that came out of those particular firewall logs. The other thing we can do is under these field names, we can come up here and we'd be able to do something like uh, some filtering up here. So maybe we're looking for all of our DNS traffic. So we could come up here and just type in port 53 for our destination port, click apply filters to total, and this will show us all of the DNS events uh, that we have. And if you come up here, you can actually see we're now filtering and applying that to the graph up here as well. From here, uh, we've got a couple things we can do. We can click on Summary over here, and it's going to bring up a summary view. It's going to show us our like some of our top hosts in here, the different applications. In this case, we're going to be mostly looking at DNS traffic in here, uh, and give us just kind of a summary of all of the traffic that we're seeing. Something else we can do from here, uh, if we want to export this data for our investigation, we can click on Export CSV, and we can export all of these results as a CSV file, and we could use those in our favorite spreadsheet software. If there's a column that you're interested in seeing here in this particular view that's not on display by default, you can click on Columns here, and you can see all of the column names that are available here. You can check the box next to these columns here, and then click on Close, and we can add those columns to your view. Thank you for watching our demo series. If you're an existing Secure Network Analytics customer, I would like to encourage you to upgrade to version 741 today and take advantage of our security analytics and logging feature. If you are considering Secure Network Analytics, you can follow the link here and sign up for a free trial. I appreciate everyone's time today. Hope you all learned something.